Hey everybody, Wrestling Figure Observer Podcast, episode 24. It is episode number 4, within 4 days. And I really cannot believe it. Uh, we didn't have news for 2 months, and now we have 4 new episodes for you guys within 4 days. A lot of news on figures lately, and yesterday we had an amazing showing at the New York Toy Fair. A lot of people enjoyed that video. We are already up to 10,000 views within 24 hours. That is absolutely awesome. I thank you guys so much for that, um, that you enjoy the podcast so much. That is really awesome. But today we got another day of reveals at the Toy Fair, and uh, my Instagram was blowing up again. Everybody kind of tagging me on the new figures and telling me about them. And of course, I thank you guys for that. And I immediately went ahead and wanted to start the new podcast so that all you guys here on YouTube also see the new stuff. So, a lot of new stuff shown here today. And uh, let's start off with the not so important stuff. And then we wo um, are working our way up to the more important stuff. So, there is um, a new Tough Talker set. Uh, I mean, I'm not really too interested in these. Uh, they have New Day now. Uh, the John Cena looks like it's a re-release. They had that in the first wave already as well. A uh, Brock Lesnar and a Dean Ambrose, which looks kind of weird. The body looks way too big for his head. I don't know if it's just his image, but it looks kind of weird. Um, Next off, we have Zombies. <laughs> and I just did notice. I mean, that is really funny. They put, and this is the Zombies Series 2. We had, of course, a Series 1 before. And they have a Kevin Owens in the set. And it actually says, Bite Owens Bite. Uh, that is awesome. That is really awesome. I really do enjoy that. Also in the set, we have AJ Styles, who is climbing around there in the setup. We have Seth Rollins. I don't know what is happening to Seth Rollins. Is his tongue sticking out? That far? I don't really... Yeah, I think it's his tongue. Then we have Brock Lesnar in the back. And is he wearing a Stone Cold vest? I think it it is. And yeah, there's also Stone Cold, I believe. Um, behind AJ Styles. So, yeah. Brock probably stole the vest from his zombie buddy, Austin. I don't know how that makes much sense, but whatever. And there we have Sasha Banks as well. Uh, still wearing her legit boss uh, the necklace and also got the glasses up there, I think, right? Yeah, I think those are supposed to be the glasses. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not really too interested in those zombies. I don't really collect them. But they look really fun. I mean, the Bido and Spites, uh, that is really awesome. That is really awesome. Um, let me know, guys. Do you collect the zombies? They had, of course, Series 1. And it seems like they sold well enough to make series two, so that's pretty cool there for Mattel. Then we also have a new playset, which is a fantasy matchup. Um, they have like two cages there on the side. I guess it is for the tough talkers, as they are there in the ring playset. Uh, nothing that I would need. Fantasy matchup right there, or maybe they're going to bring it alive like the other um, shark cage playset that they had before. We never know. Maybe they are coming up with a new match type here for the WWE again. And next off, we have again a picture of the new Raw ring playset, and I'm still really, really excited about this. So it kind of looks like it is smaller than the authentic scale ring and the authentic scale ring actually is way too big for Mattel figures if you really want something in scale it is really big and I mean this ring might be even great size wise I mean maybe it might be a bit too small I'm not really sure let me know what you guys think but it might be a little small but I don't know you know, 
if you go to a WWE live event, you really realize how how small the ring is. I mean, the first time I went, I was really what that that looks really small. It looks way bigger on television, and I'm not sure. Maybe this is actually an accurate size for a ring because the like I said the. Um, authentic and elite scare rings they had before are pretty much a bit big for um, Mattel figures so I don't really know it looks really intriguing and it kind of looks like Bill Goldberg is included in this playset so otherwise I think they wouldn't have had him in this playset at uh, the two days now they seem to have moved the elite 50 figures so they aren't there anymore but Bill Goldberg still is there in the ring playset so I would assume that means that Bill Goldberg will be an exclusive figure in this raw ring playset gotta pick that one up most exciting thing I've seen at toy fair pretty much really excited for that then we have a new line as it seems like we have NXT takeover figures I don't really can tell what it says here on the on the image but it does it say target yes indeed it says target so these will probably be target exclusive in NXT line really really awesome uh, a lot of people wanted that before and now they are including an NXT line which is really really awesome now that should be target exclusive and in the set we got Hideo Itami that seems like a new head scan on him already already his second figure even though he has like wrestled like three times I mean he's always injured kinda which is really a shame but yeah and then we also got on here Kevin Owens this is pretty much his basic 58 figure and the head scan looks like it is Elite 47 I think yeah it should be Elite 47 and there's also Kevin Owens in the uh, box there in the NXT TakeOver box that you can see there in the back and that has a new head scan I feel it is not the same one as on the loose Kevin Owens here I think I really don't know I, it doesn't really make sense because otherwise it's the same figure but that seems different and it has one of those Bailey things there which I don't understand why wouldn't they include that with Bailey or did I miss something on NXT maybe I did but that is pretty weird a brand new Eva Marie as well uh, so rumors have it that uh, she's going to go away from the WWE but still a Eva Marie figure here uh, that looks pretty good also looks like it has a new head scan uh, the head is kind of a bit down so you can't really see but I think it's a new head scan uh, there is a Sami Zayn which is this looks really close to his first ever figure uh, his first basic 50 I believe it was figure and also here we got Andrade Cien Almas I hope I said that right he is there as well, his first time in the line figure probably. And also behind there we have a perfect 10. I hope everyone is screaming 10 at the screen right now because there's Ty Dillinger. And that is the figure we had in the playset video before that was kind of shown in there. So there's Ty Dillinger and I think it looks really, really awesome. I really do like the head scan a lot. So that is really awesome. And we also have a Samoa Joe that is from the battle pack with Finn Balor pretty much. That's the same figure I feel. And then we have a Seth Rollins back there. And that is not his NXT attire. The whole box looks really weird. I mean the Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins boxes are different so I believe that will be a whole new line that Target will carry uh, under the NXT name so that is really cool but that is pretty much the Seth Rollins basic right there and put in a box with the NXT championship I mean they probably should have made the NXT attire Rollins then if they are going to do that or maybe it is an early prototype right there and they actually just included that basic Rollins because they didn't have the uh, 
original one that is going to be in the NXT set ready yet. That could be a possibility because I find it kind of weird that they have the SummerSlam Rollins and then with the NXT Championship. That is really weird. But whatever. We got to see um, what is going to happen with that. And then we also got pictures of Elite Series 49. Which I also don't really get. I mean, they showed us 50 yesterday and today we're getting 49. Uh, I don't know, but I'm still going to be happy to show you the pictures here. Apollo Crews is still in the line. That is confirmed. It's not going to be replaced by Shinsuke Nakamura like some rumors had it. Uh, Apollo Crews will be in the line. And it looks like a really cool elite figure. Plastic shirt. Alright, I mean... What we really care about anyways is the figure itself. And that looks pretty good. I feel like it's really close to the basic head scan. The basic 64 head scan. But it kind of seems a bit improved. It's, it looks more like Apollo Crews I feel. So it might be a new head scan. Or a modified basic 64 head scan. I don't really know. It looks great though. And next off we have... The Legends Killer, Randy Orton with the RKO NWO style shirt. Really awesome figure. I'm still kind of mad that they just went with a plain black attire for that. Because they could have used the orange one, the SummerSlam attire or like a red attire or whatever. So that is kind of sad that they went with a black one. But still, alright. Then we have Big Cass, who we already have seen as well. That looks pretty good. Here he has the How You Doing shirt on. Also comes with a SAWF t-shirt. Um, pretty cool Big Cass. I think um, he is a little bit ripped um, if you take the shirt off. And Big Cass isn't that ripped anymore, so I wouldn't have given him that torso. But it's still alright. I think I was still going to pick that up. And then we have Brutus Beefcake as well, which comes with a cloth, what is it, a vest? How do you call it? I don't know, jacket, whatever. And uh, not too interesting for me. I am not really into the flashbacks, as you guys know. Then we got Bucky, um, Becky Lynch in Elite 49 here as well. And that is her WrestleMania attire, I believe, right? And... I think that looks really, really awesome with the uh, hat and the entrance code and a, a new Becky Lynch hat scan as well as it looks like. So that is really, really cool. Elite Becky Lynch, uh, probably going to pick that one up. And then the most exciting figure here of today, I gotta say, that is the Elite Enzo Amore and that is just sick. I mean, they totally nailed that end, though. That is perfect. It got a new head scan. I think that is the same that they will have in the battle pack that is coming out. Then the awesome vest here, which is, like, sick. It looks really, really great. They put a lot of details into that as well. Then the uh, chains and the pants, the shorts you got here, is, are really, really awesome. I really like the black and blue look to it. Really, really great. Uh, the sneakers also, man, that is an awesome figure. I think that is going to be the best seller for Elite 49 even. That is just awesome. And, of course, everyone is going to get big cast then as well. But for me, the selling point here is Enzo Mori. That is just fire. I love this Enzo Mori. Might be one of the best figures that was shown here along with Shane McMahon at Toy Fair. I don't really know if we will have more reveals coming up. I feel like maybe there might. Because there's another day of Toy Fair tomorrow. So eventually there are going to be more reveals. I feel like maybe they could reveal some uh, basic sets or some battle packs. I really would like to see Gallows and Anderson, Maurice and The Miz. So uh, that would be really cool if they would have them there tomorrow. If they will, I'm going to be there and covering it with another episode. So yeah guys, hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure to leave me a like. Follow me on my social media, link to Twitter, link to Instagram is in the description below. Yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. 
and I'll see you all in the next one.